Hello everyone, I'm Gordon Wright coming to you from Exalta Canada in Ajax, Ontario. And today's paint defect topic is industrial fallout or more commonly called rail dust. What is rail dust? At times you may have noticed little orange specks on the painted surface of your vehicle that look like little tiny rust spots and wondered where they came from. When small metal particles land on the surface of your vehicle and start to rust, this is called rail dust. If the surface is hot, it can embed itself into the paint. The term rail dust originated when cars first started being delivered by trains. Small particles from the track and the brakes on the train would fly up and land on the surface of the cars. If it was wet outside, these particles would start to rust and embed themselves onto the surface of the paint and rail dust would form. Nowadays, you can get rail dust from just about anywhere. If you're driving in an industrial area or if you park your car at the train station to commute by rail to work, you run at the risk of coming in contact with these small metal particles. Even semi-metallic brake pads on your car can send hot metal particles into the paint film. This is more apparent on white or light colored vehicles. There are some things we can do to limit the risk of getting these little orange spots on our cars. Vehicle waxes offer some level of protection. However, paint sealants have proven to offer more protection against rail dust. If you commute by rail to work and leave your vehicle parked at the train station, you can try and park further away from the tracks and that will limit the exposure as the trains pass by. Remove rust patches immediately when they appear. Polishing may make it look better initially, but it's only temporary. Fortunately, minor damages caused by rail dust can be removed and if done properly, won't leave any lasting damage to the surface of your vehicle. One way to remove rail dust is to use commercial products that break down the ferrous metallic contamination and wash the vehicle to dissolve the small metal particles. Make sure to follow all of the product directions and then a clay bar or mitt with the proper lubricant can be used to remove the now loosened metal particles. However, if the particles last too long on the surface and the damages appear deeper, refinishing should be considered. Thank you for joining us and I hope to see you again soon for the next videos in our series of paint defects. Thank you.